I'm Batter, sales engineer and product manager at Comwave Networks. Today, I will demonstrate key features of Comwave's WebEx computer app. I will demonstrate to you how to make and answer calls, how to, how to set up your voicemail, send chat messages, check the status of other users, create favorite contacts, send meeting invites, set up call forwarding, and more. And without further ado, let's get started. To make a call to another user, go to the top search bar and start typing the name of the user. In this case, I'm trying to call Daniel. The user will come up. You will have the option to make an audio call by clicking on the handset icon or a video call by clicking on the camera icon. If you click on the user, a messaging space will open up. From there, you will have the same option to make an audio call or a video call. You can send a message, share content by clicking on the attachment icon. You can upload content from your computer or from OneDrive. If you click on profile, you will see information about the user, such as the email address and the extension number. If you click on the content, you will see all the content that was previously shared with that user. To make an external call, click on the call in icon and start typing the phone number you're trying to dial. Then click audio. To hang up, press the red button. For incoming calls, a message will come up, press answer, and now you've answered the call. To put the call on hold, press the three, the three dots, and then press the hold button. To resume the call, click on the resume. To transfer the call, Click the three dots, then transfer. You can choose to make an internal transfer or a transfer to a, another external number. For internal, just type the name, click on the user, transfer now, and click on the extension. For external, just type the external number, transfer now, then click on the number. check your call history, click on the call-in icon and the list of all incoming and outgoing calls will show up. For only missed calls, click under missed. To make a call back, simply highlight the call and then do, click on the audio call. To set up your voicemail, click on the call-in icon and from the dial pad, dial start 98 and audio. Welcome to your voice messaging system. And from there, you'll be prompted to initiate your voicemail and record your greetings. To check your voice messages, Go to the voicemail icon, click on the voice message, and press the play button. If you want to see only unread voice messages, click under unread. If you want to see deleted messages, click trash. To set your extension to Do Not Disturb, on the top left hand side where your profile picture is, click there, go to Availability and set your Do Not Disturb to however long you want. Then click Cancel. As you can see, my status just changed to Do Not Disturb. To clear Do Not Disturb, 
click on the profile picture availability then clear and now I just disabled do not disturb and now my status just changed to active to forward all your calls to voicemail click under call settings click on the drop down menu then select voicemail you can also choose to forward all your calls to an internal extension or to an external number. To do that, open Call Preferences and on this field, click the plus button and then type the phone number you're trying to forward your calls to. If it's an inter internal extension, type the extension number there and then press Save. Now go back to Call Settings and then in the drop-down menu you'll have those numbers populated. You can choose where you want to forward your calls to. To create a group chat or group space, simply go to the plus button on the top, create space, give a name to the space. In this case, I'm going to call this service desk. and then add users to it. Then create. To send a message to the group, simply go to the message in space and type your message. To share content, just click on the highlight on the attachment icon and then upload the content. To add more members to the team, go under people, click add people and, and start typing the name of the users. To become the moderator of the group, click on the settings icon and then moderate space and then moderate. The moderator will have the ability to add and remove members from the group. To make a contact or a space as favorite to show up on the top list, simply right click on the space or the contact and, and click on under fav add, add to favorites. Or you can click on the contact and click on the star button. To remove from favorite, do the same thing. Right click, remove from favorite, or simply press remove from favorite again. To add a personal contact, go to the contacts icon, create or add a contact create a custom contact and enter the first name field, last name and the display name and then enter the phone number and then press save and all co personal contacts will be under personal. From there you can choose to dial that number right from the handset icon. To schedule a meeting Click on the meeting icon, schedule a meeting, click open, and your Outlook client will open up. Add the meeting participants, set the time, and then hit send. You can also do the same thing right from your email client by clicking the Add WebEx Meeting. 
to join a meeting the meeting reminder pop-up will come up five minutes before the time of the meeting to join the meeting press start and then start meeting and now you're part of the meeting you can choose to mute yourself start video change your virtual background apply you can share your screen to end the meeting press the red button to change your status simply click on the field right next to your profile picture and then change it to whatever you want to upload your profile picture click on the top left hand side where your profile name or picture is edit profile change picture then up open your the picture and then hit save to download the mobile app click on your profile picture go to mobile download the QR code will open up open your camera on your mobile app scan the code click on the link that will show on the camera and you'll be prompted to download the mobile app and with this our video ends I hope you're now able to use ComWave's WebEx app happy WebExing